You don't know the legend of Candyman? <laughs> <laughs> the legend first appeared in 1890. Candyman was the son of a slave. His father amassed a considerable fortune from designing a device for the mass producing of shoes after the Civil War. Candyman was sent out to all the best schools and grew up in a polite society. He had a prodigious talent as an artist and was much sought after when it came to documenting one's wealth and position in society in a portrait. It was in this latter capacity that he was commissioned by a wealthy landowner to capture his daughter's virginal beauty. <laughs> well, of course, the two fell deeply in love and she became pregnant. Poor Candyman. Her father executed a terrible revenge. He paid a pack of brutal hooligans to do the deed. They chased Candyman through town to Cabrini Green where they proceeded to saw off his right hand with a rusty blade. Ugh. Well, this was just the beginning of his ordeal. Nearby there was an apiary. Dozens of hives of hungry bees. They smashed these hives, stole the honeycombs, and smeared them over his prone, naked body. Candyman died from the bee stings, and they burned his body on a giant pyre and spread his ashes over Cabrini Green. The end. What's your favorite scary movie?